Hello and welcome to the back nine of the Open 2018 presented by Latitude 64. Uh, here on the mic we have me, Emil Sneaky Dahlgren, joined by Linda Emanuelsson. Hello. And we have an eventful front nine and super exciting back nine. It's a fight for uh, second place. Uh, Christine is playing super good, so she has a 11 stroke lead. Yes. Here we have hole 10, par 3, 132 meters, uh, 433 feet, playing downhill, uh, only 4 meters uh, downhill elevation, and OB left and right, and even long. Uh, super, you're up in the open, so it's windy and um, it's a hard hole <laughs> yeah the first off on the tee is maris brandy from estonia oh and the wind just playing tricks with the discs and list paid Ooh. Oh, counter skip. So it must be super windy. Yeah, that, the big barn on the left here is just protects you from winds. It's hard to feel when you're on the tee pad. And Christine takes a bit of a safer throw here. Oh, yeah. Uh, Christine made a two on the first round on this hole. That's super impressive. The average on this hole for the ladies are 3.50. Yeah. And Liz throws it into the fence. Did it go through? Oh, I didn't see. And Sophie with the second shot. I like the idea with this one. She's, she wanted to keep it low because it's so easy it's when you're mm. playing over this fence and you just put it up there into the wind and it just, you can't really control it. Yeah. And here we have Maurice's second throw. Oh. You can hear the wind. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is she going through? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah. like, that would be really... <laughs> No, yeah. oh, she didn't. And Liz has to go over. Yeah. Oh, that's good. She has a putt for a four. It's Liz again. And she oh, beats her bogey. Oh, that's a good putt. And Maurice has putt for three. Will she take a stroke on Liz? That's probably some nerves and yeah. wind playing a factor there. Sophie saving par. That's good. Maurice again. Yeah, also a bogey. So still tied between Liz and Maurice. Nice three by Chris String. Here we have hole 11, par four, 173 meters, 567 feet. Uh, play super open first shot. Uh, you want to land sh short of this OB area you see here, or if you have super distance, you can attack it and land on this mulch, but that's a super long shot uh, and then you have a approach uh, uphill with the, the basket standing a little bit of a rock uh, rocky what do you call it like hill yeah <laughs> and you have the choice of uh, going left or right on the first throw um, if you go right you have a, f a longer distance to the basket but usually it's more open if you're on the left it's shorter but a lot trickier shot often. So if you like hyzers, then the left is okay. 
Did she go OB there? Oh, I didn't. She's well, right. Well, the graphics didn't say OB, no, so we will so trust she was just safe. <laughs> That's a very good drive by Christine. And this hole is like if you if you're short on this hole and close to the gap, it's almost impossible to get up to the basket. So you, the smart play is just play it out uh, to the right of the yeah. OB here, so you can at least have a look to throw it up a little bit into the gap. Yeah, and that's what Sophie did, and also now I think it was Morris did a similar thing. Now we have Liz. She goes a bit more uh, left. A more aggressive line. And we'll have probably have a bit trickier throw. You could see Kristen's disc is just on the OB line. <laughs> That's very far. <laughs> yeah, nice throw by Sophie. And Maurice. Oh, she got up on the second plateau uh, there, right? I'm not sure. And Liz with a steep angle. Oh, this is pins, yeah. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, she went through. Yeah, from the pin. Whoa. And it stops. She there are a, some gaps there, but they're yeah. kind of small. She has a birdie look there. And Christine. Oh, perfect position. Oh, come on. Yeah. Oh, that was a good shot. A little unfortunate with the tree kick and roll down there, but. And uh, Maurice third. With a bit of an awkward stance. It looks like she's up there. And so is Sophie. They're both looking at par putts. Liz putting for three. You can usually you can try to run this from a distance because of the uh, wall behind the basket. Unless oh, you're no, 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 super unlucky. No, no, no. <sighs> she sure didn't deserve that. Oh, how far did... Oh, okay, not all the way down, but yeah. still. <sighs> no, that's the worst roll I've ever seen on this hole, I think. So. <sighs> I've seen one that rolled down and out to the gap and then turned mm. right. Yeah. So the person who did that, not, whoa, that's a super good save. Yeah. That's a little bit of a death putt. Yeah, that was probably a longer putt than the one she had before. Yeah, she's putting like almost and downhill again. Nice par there by Morris. Sophie also par. That made me a little bit scared of running those long putts on the show when yeah. I saw that roll. <laughs> <laughs> the Explorer is a very versatile fairway driver. Nice straight flight and then a little small finish. It, it holds basically any line. This one is immediately in my bag, adding the distance. Fairly overstable high speed driver. And my go to foot to flat order 50 foot shot is now a Ballista Pro. Here we have hole 12. Woods call it signature hole. Definitely is uh, par 3. Playing downhill 163 meters, 534 feet. And you have OB short in the creek and OB left and right. Uh, and if you go OB on this hole, you play from a drop zone that is short of the creek. Uh, it's about like 80 meters, mm. maybe of away from the basket. Yeah. And you have a choice to go either, either left of the tree or right of the tree. If you go left like Sophie does here, you have to have enough push on the throw, otherwise it usually fades OB. No, uh, that's she a makes a super a good shot. Yeah. You don't want to have too much anhyzer because then you go into the trees on the right also. So. And that was Maurice. Is that like... That's a bit different throw than most players, I think. Left of the trees, but still safe. 
and less. It's high, but it oh. will will it come back? The wind is maybe pushing. No, yeah. she's. It's the wind nice. is uh, right to left on this hole, so mm. it's easier than to get pushed down. And Christine throws oh, the Heiser route. Oh, mm. nice. Really, really good. Morris, second throw. That's oh, quite nice. short, unfortunately. Liz, would she be closer? Yeah. Mm. Nice up. And Sophie's second throw. Looked Ooh. like she was running it, right? <laughs> a little bit, yeah. yeah. It's a little bit of uphill, so you yeah. can run it, but in this wind... Yeah, she had some yeah. strokes to gain, so maybe. Yeah, and then she loves to go for those long putts. I know her. <laughs> and Morris. Oh, what? No! She got nubbed, yeah. almost. So she will have to settle for a bogey then. Will Liz take a stroke now? Yeah. Yeah. She does. Yeah. And nice threes by Sophie and Christian. <laughs> And yet again, Liz is one stroke ahead of Morris, just like they started this round. <laughs> Hole 13, par 4, 200 meters, 658 feet, uh, playing downhill to this first landing zone, uh, which is straight. You can see the OB stakes on the left here and the marker there, 89 meters to that uh, small bush. You want to land a little bit past that bush uh, to set you up for your second shot. Carrying over this uh, OB patch here uh, to the second safe area here, marked by the white stakes. Uh, into this gap uh, and the basket is placed on a big mound. Uh, OB behind the basket and to the left in the creek. And what you want here is usually just to end up in the middle on the first throw to set you up for a nice uh, chance for a par. Unless you go very tight to the OB line when you, ha you might have the chance for a birdie. And Sophie. Oh, nice by the shot. Bush. That's a good placement. And Liz. Turns it a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's still safe, but it makes the hole a lot longer. Yeah. In, yeah, right in the middle. And Morris. Settle, settle. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, she's she uh, put on the brakes. very close to the OB. But maybe also a little bit too short to be in the nice placement to go over the trees. Yeah. Oh, nice. Really good to throw. And Liz, who has a little bit of a distance left. And it's tricky because there is a a few trees that are standing yeah. on the OB there is have grown a lot so they, mm. they were you can see them right here they were super much in the way <laughs> so if you hit those your OB and then you're like yeah. walking up 20 meters and Morris second throw got caught a little bit by the wind but it's okay placement Textbook shot by Sophie, right in the middle. Yeah, this whole average 
5.59, so it's place almost a stroke, two yeah. strokes over par. Oh no! Yeah, Liz overpowered that throw a little bit, so it rolled OB, unfortunately. Morris, third shot. Ooh, Ooh he hits the tree behind. Death putt. Yeah. You want to be very close to the basket on this one when you putt. Yeah, uh, smart. Like that. And Christine lays up for par. Liz from the OB. Morris for par. Yeah. <laughs> nice, but And Liz will have to settle for a double bogey. And they're tied once again. <laughs> Unceptable. Hole four team, par three, 92 meters, 301 feet. Uh, playing straight, a uh, little bit of a slight turnover for right-handed player. Um, and this hole plays under par at 2.93 for the ladies. That's very impressive. Yeah, that's super good because you have the... It's a tight gap to hit and if you're off your gap, you... Whoa, come on, <laughs> come on. Oh, if you do that, it's yeah. perfect. <laughs> That's how you play the hole. <laughs> but if you if she would have hit a tree there on the left, you can kick really really bad to the left, and then it's hard to say par. And she oh. really wants it. To come oh, out. okay, no. roll out a little bit. That's yeah. looks good. And Morris. Low and good. Mm. Whoa, <laughs> too long. She yeah. had a little bit of unfortunate with that big skip on that because she landed before the basket. Liz, a bit too far right. Come on. Yeah, oh. kicks out. Always hoping. Yeah, but it never comes out that way. <laughs> Just sticky trees. Oh, nice flick. And this second. Let's see what Morris can do from the woods. A long oh. uh, birdie pot. And from the knees. Oh. That's, that's good. You got the height. That's kind of hard when you're on the mm -hmm. knees and you want to like... You don't get a lot of power from the knees, so it's good you got a lot of power from that one. Yeah. And Sophie's birdie putt. Yeah. Oh, Cute. nice. And Morris for par. And Sophie's only three back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she can, uh, if the other ones get nervous, she has a chance to hit them from behind. All 15, par 3, 100 meters, playing downhill, uh, 328 feet, it's downhill uh, 10 meters, 
uh, and you have uh, OB left, right and long. Uh, and if you unfortunately find OB, it's a drop zone which is like 13 meters putt from the basket, so it's, you can't save a three. And the wind comes very much in play on this hole. Ah, yeah. You want to throw low, but not too low. Oh, she! Oh no, catches some yeah. limbs there on the left. And now it's Morris. Ooh, watch <laughs> out, Kim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's in the middle. Should be an easy par from there. And Liz. Oh, it looks yeah. nice. Yeah. Oh. That's a really nice one. That was close. That disc handled the wind very well. Christine's second shot. Yeah. Morris second shot. See Sophie, she's gonna go for it. Yeah, her third. You kinda have to go for it not to be too short. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, jump in by Christine, saves par. And uh, Morris for par. And Liz, beautiful birdie. Nice. Hole 16, par 5, 290 meters, 951 feet. Uh, OB on the right side here in the beginning and on the left side. Uh, yeah, you wanna place your shot around here somewhere and uh, that sets up uh, a little bit more open second shot. Uh, and then you wanna land around this opening set you up for and to penetrate a gap in here to maybe look for a, a nice easy par but it's not that easy this hole <laughs> it's super hard and it, uh, it tells by the average on this hole is 6.45 for ladies mm. and first to tee is Liz yeah Ooh, nice. Yeah, she's flirting with the OB, but it's very good to land where she does. She has a good height on her throw. Yeah, yeah it was a little bit of a tailwind on this hole, so it, if you had a little bit of a low release, it just got pushed down even more. They still have a chance to say par if they're a bit low in the beginning also. Yeah, the goal here on the first shot is just get safe somewhere <laughs> yeah, in the exactly. middle so you can <laughs> go on the next shot. Yeah, nice drive there by Morris. Yeah, Sophie also caught by the wind there, a little bit low. And the OB is like tightens just a little bit here where Sophie's drive is right now. Yeah. And then it opens up again. Yeah, and you can see the yellow course on the right also. Yeah. And Christine's second shot. That's a huge... Oh, nice. Huge distance on that one. Oh, that's just so good for biting off a lot on her third. And Morris. No, she hit that tree, right? But, oh, 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 it's safe at yeah. least. That's a tricky placement, probably. 
And Liz, second shot. Ooh. A bit too far right, but out in the open. Tricky stance. That's Maurice third. Oh, she saw that she had to cut off her follow through there because of the tree there. So it was a super good shot from yeah. that tricky stance. Sophie throwing her third shot. Yeah. She follows the fairway perfectly. That's nice. That's that's a tricky shot because you want to like so easy to throw it too long. Yeah. And if you want to be like aggressive, so easy to like fade it in yeah. a little bit to the woods there and then you OB. Yeah. Yeah, the OB goes out a little bit in the middle. So if you don't see it, it's easy to hyzer it a bit too much. And a fourth shot by Christine, right? Ooh, in the woods. But not that far from the basket. And Morris. Her fourth. Nice. Yeah. And Sophie shows how to make Lay up for an easy par. <sighs> That's good. This is such a hard hole. It's so easy to get mm. out of position or go B and catch a five or six or a seven or an yeah. eleven. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This hole it can actually be a bit uh, harder sometimes to have uh, be long throwing because then you the OB lines are so much more in play than when you throw it a bit safer like Sophie did. Nice, nice up. Yeah, nice touch. And that's a bogey for Morris. And now Liz has a chance to um, continue to be before Morris. I don't know if the, is this for a par, right? Yeah. He has a chance to take a stroke. No. Oh. Ooh, yeah, I know Liz has been complaining about dry palms, it really bothers her. Oh yeah, you can see she was moistening up her hand. Yeah, I played with her uh, late earlier this year and she put on moisturizer many times during the round. <laughs> that's that's weird. Yeah. <laughs> that's like the opposite of what, what others every, do. <laughs> what every other player in the world yeah. does, like yeah. birdie bag or sports sack, yeah. every hole. So now they're tied again. <laughs> <laughs> Two holes to go. Mm. Hole 17, par 3, 130 meters, 426 feet. A beautiful hole playing over this pond uh, and then up again to this beautiful green area here. It's a super tricky hole to, you wanna get up to the like, that hill because if you don't make it up that, it's hard because you don't see the basket. Yeah, there are, if you have the distance like this woman, then you would probably try to get up on the hill, but um... If you're not too sure about that, it's a bit tricky if you want to kind of just go over the pond on the right or if you want to play safe to the left. And even if you have the distance, it's really easy to go into the woods on the left or the right side or fade down there like so. Yeah. Does. And that's, you're cutting off your line yeah. quite a lot if you're close to those woods. You have almost like a sidearm flex line almost into exactly. the basket. So then it's actually better to... Uh, to throw a lot shorter left of the pond and you have an open shot to the yeah. basket. Oh yeah. And now it's Liz. Oh, that flex, nice. Yeah. 
Come on up. Yeah. Oh yes. <laughs> That's where you want to be. Yeah. Just up. This will average 3.70. Mm -hmm. So Sophie has a tricky spot there. Oh yeah, and that yeah. that that approach is super hard. You can see here we need yeah. to stretch out and so much. It's the same much. for Morris. They are they are too close, so they can't really throw back in from there. Oh. And this. Nice. Oh, she fought through up there, mm -hmm. Christine. Yeah, she has a look. Yeah, nice. Not everyone has a look if they go that way. <laughs> no, you can. <laughs> can be way worse. Yeah, that was Sophie's third shot. And Maris with a long putt for par. Oh. Morris again. She has to settle for a bogey, oh, which sorry. means that Liz has the chance to gain a stroke. Yeah, um, a bit unconventional three from Christine there. Oh yeah. Four for Sophie. Yeah. Three for Liz. And she now has one stroke ahead of Morris. And Sophie is a bit behind, unfortunately. Hole 18, par 3, playing downhill. Uh, 146 meters, 479 feet. It's 4 meters in elevation drop because it, uh, the basket is up here on this hill. And you have a creek that... Uh, goes through the hole so if you go in that one you play from a drop zone and there's a wheel left as well this one average 4.23 so it looks like the podium will be all Estonian women yeah. that's super impressive and the first time in history and nice. um, Liz, I remember Liz talking about uh, uh, playing in Estonia, not giving you very high ratings because there are so few high rated players and then they just started all of them. <laughs> and I surely believe her because uh, these three women on average played 56 over their rating Ooh. in this tournament. So watch out for the Estonian women. Damn. And Morris. Mm, settle. Yeah. yeah, that's safe. Because safe over the, on the right, on the correct side, I think. And there was Liz from in the woods. A very nice throw oh, from in there. Good recovery. Yeah. yeah. Sophie with a tricky stance. And that's Morris. She's safe, it looks. Oh, but she had to yeah. pat it. Oh, that was a tricky line. Huh? Yeah. She must have been pinched up against the trees there. Yeah. So it's Morris, third shot. Yeah. A little bit short. And Christine's second. Beautiful. Christine has played a very well, played very well this round. And if she makes her putt, this will be a 67, which is a new course record. Oh yeah. Yeah. And now it's Liz, and that's her third shot, laying up for bogey, which will be enough to be ahead of Morris, who is putting for bogey now. Yeah. Oh, nice putt. Very nice. And that's 
Bogey for Sophie. And she's putting for a uh, bogey. Liz. Ooh. Oh. Oof, oof, oof. oh, a little bit nervous there. <sighs> Yeah, she gets a double bogey. Oh, so yeah. they're tied again. Yeah. And Kristin wins. Well, yeah. Yeah, with a 67. She plays so well. Yeah. In this win with that yeah. score. So um, Liz and uh, Morris are tied for second. And after this round, they played an unofficial uh, playoff on the yellow course. They started on hole one, and Liz practically parked the hole and won the playoff. Nice, here we see. So both Liz and Morris said that they were very, um, very happy to be on the podium. They did surely not expect that. No. So here we see the back nine. So, thanks for watching and uh, give a like and subscribe. Yeah. Yemen signing off. <laughs> yeah, thank you all for, for looking. <laughs> <laughs>